Hey guys, so I haven't filmed in way over a week because Easter came um, when I would usually film and it just was so busy. I filmed last year for Easter, but this year was even crazier. We had way more dinners to go to. It's such a huge thing in my big fat Italian family and Jim's big fat Greek family. <laughs> food um and being extra hu extra hungry this year because i'm pregnant didn't help but um i tried to manage pretty well and didn't go too nuts the only thing i did go nuts on i will admit is chocolate i ate so much chocolate this easter it's like for the last week and i keep worrying because i've never really been into sweets the way i am right now in this pregnancy so I keep worrying that I'm gonna give myself gestational diabetes and yeah I keep worrying but yet it doesn't stop me like I've had like a piece of chocolate every single day um, for a week so that's got to stop and I like just want fruit right um, okay so nausea has stopped so woohoo because that's like probably the worst symptom no, bleeding is the worst symptom because that's scary. But nausea is like the worst feeling um, ever for anything when you're sick, when you're pregnant, anything. So I'm so glad that that's done with because every single night it was there and annoying. It has been replaced, however, with indigestion, heartburn, that kind of stuff. But I will take that over nausea any day. I have a little bit more energy, I've noticed, which is good because... So today's Wednesday. So Monday, I walked 20 minutes to my accountant, 20 minutes back. Yesterday, Jim, Jim and I went for about 30 minute walk with Oliver. And today I've already like texted Jim and I'm like, when you come, when you come back from work, let's venture to the gym. Let me just like look around in there because I've not been there in many, many months. So I just kind of want to like, I don't want to have, like, a huge workout. I just want to familiar my, for, for, familiarize myself with it. Um, I'm very clumsy pregnant. I drop everything, and I stumble through my words. I'm not as eloquent as I used to be. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, like, so I, I don't want to go crazy. I want to maybe do, like, a 30-minute walk on the treadmill or the 30-minute just low impact elliptical and maybe like 15 minutes of light weights while I sit on the bench, something like that, just to get back in there because my energy levels are a lot better now that I'm in the second trimester. And um, the fact that I've managed to get out and do something the last couple of days, I want to keep that momentum going um, and hopefully be back to some sort of routine because I know that just aside from the fact that I'm on a weight loss journey and I don't want to gain so much weight during this pregnancy and set me set myself back so much, um, I know that if you don't exercise, it makes your labor and delivery like a lot more difficult. So yeah, I definitely want to get into a routine and yeah, the nausea, the bleeding really set me back, but it's okay. Baby comes first. I'll just pretend that the fact that I've lost all of my muscle in my legs and all of my muscle in my arms doesn't fully depress me. Not for anything. I won't, sorry, I was getting way too close. Not for anything. Not even about looks. How the heck am I going to hold my baby? Because I can't even hold up this camera. I keep switching hands because my muscles are all gone. It's so crazy how it'll take you two years to get any sort of progress and you know two months off will be like you're yeah back to normal right back at square one obviously I'm not at square one square one is still you know up to 255 pounds um, I'm still the same weight as I was my last video my last video I told you guys that my doctor weighed me in at 200 pounds, so same thing. So I still have gained the five pounds through pregnancy. Um, and I gained like that extra 20 pounds since marriage and honeymoon and stuff like that. So hopefully we keep it, like if it can just be five pounds per trimester, 
that'd be great because yeah I'm not recommended just being like I'm still in the obese category of doctors so um it's not recommended to gain over like no more than 20 pounds so they say anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds is is better to gain when you are so overweight so hopefully that happens but I'm starving because my accountant called me and I wanted to like eat I had some frozen strawberries that I have have thawed and kind of got syrupy while I was on the phone with uh, the accountant and I just want to literally it's lunchtime now but I'm gonna be hungry again in an hour so just because I'm starving I'm just gonna throw this together now so I have um, Activia vanilla yogurt the probiotic yogurt and I'm just going to put a bunch of that in there and then I have, I've showed you this cereal before, Vector, which has 13 grams of protein, which I really, really love. It's so crunchy. So it'll mimic some sort of granola-ness, and I think that will be a nice little snack. Yeah, so we have some strawberry, some yogurt, some crunchy cereal. Wow. Oh, Oliver, look, so fast. He wasn't even sitting here. And he already hops onto the couch because he thinks he's getting a piece of my cereal. No way, man. You're not getting my yogurt parfait, man. I'm so, like, hyped up and it's so sweaty in here. I got to go put the fan on. And then, before I do anything, I'm going to... Um, Got to get a few things ready for my accountant, but while I eat my yogurt parfait or whatever it is, I'm going to watch an episode or two of Call the Midwives on Netflix. I don't know if anybody watches that, but it's really cool to see like how people delivered, like how midwives delivered babies back in the 50s and all the issues that they went through and then slowly how they learn new things and are able to save more babies, more mothers. It's really cool. I guess specifically because I'm pregnant right now, I'm extra interested in it, but yeah um sorry guys you know what the next seven months or however much longer i'm pregnant you guys are gonna get a lot of like hyper clumsy out of breath vlogs from me where i'm like talking to my mile minute stumbling upon my words not making much sense sorry about that yes oliver we know you're always the first on the scene when there's food never fails so I have a little bit of leftover lamb from Easter that I'm gonna dip into some mustard and I cut up a cucumber I've been managing to get more veggies in especially if I leave them fresh and raw and cold so like carrots and celery sticks with like um, ranch dressing or I'll saute a little bit of broccoli but only for a few minutes so it still has their crunch um, yeah, so I've been managing to get more veggies in. Thank goodness. Um, you're not getting any. Definitely. This is for mom and baby. I told you I'd be eating again in an hour. So I just had an apple and now I'm having a hard boiled egg. I just put a little bit of sea salt and pepper on it. Um, we have a bunch of these left over from Easter. So I'm having this as a little snack to tide me over until dinner what do you say good snack idea good snack idea ollie you want it just kidding so jim is home Ta -da! <laughs> you're not so tired it's bright outside look he finally gets home with yeah this, I'm a little you're too tired, you're too tall but... you're too tall buddy you're too tall <laughs> That's right. You do them squats for the video. But my hold knees it. are shaking. <laughs> hold it. Hold the position. Um, yeah, so... Okay, you can just... <laughs> um, yeah, so we were going to go to the gym, like I said this morning, but that didn't last... Well, especially because Jim is rarely, rarely home. When there's light when out. When there's light out. Um, he's always home 
like after when the vampires are out yeah like 8 39 <laughs> and it's always dark here so we figured let's take advantage because it's like 20 degrees outside this piece of hair is bothering me be useful and just hide it behind me hide this all this that's awesome see that's i'm just a stage prop <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we're just going to take advantage of this weather go outside for a walk with oliver and um yeah that's the best thing but first my accountant called me for a third time today and was like uh i need you know printouts of this and this so we got to do accounting stuff first we'll scarf down some dinner and which is more leftovers yay and then um go for a walk and i think we'll still catch a lot of light so <laughs> you are my prop you're vanna you're my vanna white so we're gonna say goodbye now just so that we can um focus on our stuff get on with doing the and, list of stuff and i don't really want to like what i don't really want to uh take the camera for a walk like because then i'm gonna like film for two seconds and then make you hold it not interesting yeah and we usually like go and get like um are you thinking for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> we usually go and get a Coffee. we can walk to tim hortons or something like that and get something to drink when we go for walks like I don't mean, worry guys she gets non-decaffeinated no i get decaf <laughs> Non -decaffeinated. Oh, <laughs> that's what I meant this That's day. okay. You, you've Not had a long day at work. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I, um, so. I'll hold it. I had, it was Jim's birthday, uh, just before Easter on the 12th of April. And I didn't buy him a gift because I'm a bad wife. She's a good wife. But. And she did get me a gift. I, well, I took him for dinner, but I bought. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so. He's a Trekkie, and I figured his little mini-me could be a little Trekkie buddy for him. Even if it's a girl, she's going to be yeah. a, tre a Trekkie nerd. Yeah. Why and am I, I doing squats here? Just do it. So, I thought that that was so cute, and he was so excited, and I think it made it real for you. Jim, the headless husband. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think, because I don't want to, like, I don't want, this is so awkward, this vlog. I don't want to make, like, blow your cover. But he got emotional. Is that okay to say? <laughs> he of got emo he got emotional when I like show him when I showed him that, and I think like it hit home because we haven't bought any clothes, um, and we weren't gonna buy any clothes until we found out the gender. And so I'm looking at you because oh. I'm taught that I should be looking there. <laughs> I do the same thing. I look at myself, narcissist. <laughs> I'm looking at you though, because we're as if we're having a conversation. I'm looking at. So, yeah, we weren't going to buy clothes until we found out the gender. Um, so, we haven't purchased anything, actually. And so, seeing the, like this, the first thing. This is every gender. Okay? Yeah. This is Star Trek. So, seeing that as the first thing, I think, got him really excited and emotional and made no, it, no, like, what real. what got me really excited was the day that you showed me the test the first time. Yeah. And then... That was exciting. Yeah, but this is a, just like the icing on the cake. Yeah, but that doesn't of, seem real. A line on a though. stick. A line on a stick but didn't this, seem like a baby. That seems like a baby. This just grounds me. Yeah. And, My baby's um, not going to cry. Not going to poop her, himself or herself. No, he's going to poop flowers. Baby's going to ask mom to change her all the time. <laughs> baby's going to ask you. <laughs> They're just like... Wah! So, um... Yeah, and then on his birthday, too... Why do they sound like a cat? <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that on his birthday, um, we listen to his heartbeat, because I don't do it often, so the I figured... The baby's not mine. Yeah, so I figured that'd be nice to listen to his heartbeat, since I hadn't listened to it for two weeks, and it was so much stronger. Maybe I'll insert a little clip here. There it is. 130. Yeah, that's you. That's her. That's him. It's so much louder than when I first got this. He's excited because it's your birthday. <laughs> and what a birthday gift it we is. We say Hiva. We don't know. 
Doesn't put matter. it closer to the thing just to. But yeah, it was so strong and so nice, and it was just nice to hear. And it was a nice little birthday thing. Yeah. We gotta go now. Okay. I'm sweating. So my hair is disheveled. Okay, I got paperwork to go do. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. You know thank what you. to do. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know what to do. Just do it. Just subscribe, comment, like, share, go on Instagram, love us. And by us, I really mean Jen because I play a mic. You're my role. mascot. I'm her mascot. Go, Jen. Go. Okay, bye.